All right, YouTubers, this is just a real short video where I was just putting a valve into the in, one of the intake guides just to check the clearance. I'm not real happy. I don't know. Because you look at this thing. Now, keep in mind, what I'm showing you is the overall clearance. So you would divide this reading by two. To me, it looks like it's getting real close to seven. Like, you know what I mean? If you get pretty rough with it, it's got a good six and a half. I mean, yeah. I think I'd call that a, well, see, now it's going, there we go. That's seven. Right there. That's a repeatable seven thousandths, which means that's a, that's a solid three and a half thousandths guide to valve stem or uh yeah valve stem clearance which is too much for an intake uh, valve guide situation oh it makes me sick because now i'm gonna we were really hoping to not have to do that kind of uh, expense on these on these heads but these valves were so burned up on the stems that it gave a false, let's call it the wiggle test, where you can pull the valve slightly off the seat and just kind of wiggle it back and, you know, push it back and forth to get an idea how much wear is on your valve guide. Basically, those old dirty valves were so caked with oil <laughs> burnt to the stems you know, like here's one, it's been slightly cleaned here, but you know what I mean? There was so much gunk up inside the guide that when we first checked them, they looked like they were going to be okay, but then uh, we were going to go to some brand new uh, intake valves, one-piece stainless steel intake valves, because we found some damage on one of the, one of the intake valves. Plus, there's several of them that even when you uh, run some green scotch bright over, over them to kind of clean them off, they don't want to act like they don't want to go back in the guide. So I don't know if that's an issue from galling, you know, possibly bent. I don't know what's going on with those factory valves, but even when you start cleaning some of the burnt gunk off of them, they don't act like they want to go back in the guides they came out of. So apparently those things are not happy so we replaced those in the process I was rechecking the valve guide clearances and my heart dropped because we definitely did not want to have to run into this bag of worms you know having K liners put in and, you know all the associated associated machine costs delay the project so but I wanted to make this quick video so uh, Daniel could see what's going on as far as that clearance on the guides that seems excessive to me and with the kind of engine he's building i don't know if i would chance that that just seems a lot so anyway these are the lt1 heads i ported uh, we were getting ready to have them surfaced and try to final assemble them and it looks like we're gonna have to spend a little bit more money and uh get these things you know worked a little bit more apparently a 24 to 25 year old head those guides have put in their service and they're wanting some help so we're gonna have to call around and see uh, who we're going to select for this next stage of the process so that we know these heads are going to perform like they should so anyway i just wanted to throw up a real quick video i do have a lot of footage i've been trying to meld together and, and edit uh, about these LT1 heads. I just haven't been very successful in coming up with a product I thought you guys would enjoy or deserve. So, thanks again for watching the channel. Hopefully, you guys please stay tuned. You know, I'm, I'm struggling right now, but hopefully, I'll be able to get back to my old videos every week or a couple of weeks or whatever I can do to keep your guys' interest. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that little bell. You know, Whatever we can do to try to get the views back up where they used to be, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you.